there's so many things you want to do. How did this one come to your attention? What caused you to do that? Well, in terms of the lizard, or the rally. I mean, the lizard issue is we've been dealing with it for a long time. Paul Balzano and my staff and, and others have been working with PBBA uh, and the industry on uh, the potential for this listing uh, for a long time. We've also been in contact with Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're dealing with the Concha water snake and its current position on the list, trying to get it off the list. And in those conversations, we brought up the lizard as well. So we've been in, uh, uh, trying to work on this issue for quite a while. From a superficial way to look at this, are people say we've got to save the lizard, people say we've got to save the Well, the we all coexist, that uh, the human species ought to have a seat at the table where these decisions are made. Uh, what we're asking for Vision Wildlife is to give us the sound science that says, here are the threats to the lizard, here are rational ways to mitigate those threats, and we want to be a partner in putting that plan together. And what Fish and Wildlife is, appears to be doing right now is simply saying this species is in danger. Uh, we, we believe there's, we don't have any science to prove it, but we believe there's a threat to the species, and we're going to uh, automatically protect it. And two or three years from now, we'll get back to you as to how we can get access to those lands. So there is a there is common ground, uh, and that's what we're asking for. Prove to us that there is a threat and what those threats are, and then help us help you uh, mitigate those threats uh, with the way we conduct business, either oil and gas or ranching, uh, on these uh, surface properties. You say you've got to come up with a list of possible restrictions that you can do yourself to keep fish and wildlife from coming in and things on you. What are some of those ideas? Well, there, there's nothing we can do to keep fish and wildlife, fish and wildlife out. They're coming in. They're going to make a decision. Now, we presume that decision will be to list the lizard. It's not necessarily the case. Uh, they have to make a decision by December the 14th. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do right now that uh, would be proof would be proof enough to the fish and wildlife to not list the, uh, the lizard. If, uh, well, I can answer the next question. If you kind of have a feel about it, your feeling is that probably the lizard is going to be the Well, fish and wildlife has to make a decision. It's not a foregone conclusion that they will list the lizard, but uh, uh, that's what we're concerned about, worried about, that they would list it without science. Well, uh, that's what folks' anxiety is about, mine as well, uh, that if this thing does get listed, then it uh, uh, will be a, a detriment to, uh, to our way of life in West Texas. Okay, last question, I'll give you a chance. Can the lizard and the oil come exist? Yes. Okay. What do people get involved? Well, it's whether or not the Fish and Wildlife will allow oil and gas companies to be a partner in that process. If they come in and in a fiat say all of this land is off limits and nobody can have access to it, period, then, then that won't work. But if they'll come in like they've done in New Mexico, put in, put in place agreements between the oil and gas uh, folks and uh, Bureau of Land Management and Fish and Wildlife, in which allow them to continue to operate if it does get listed, uh, then, so, oh, no, then it'll work. We want those same kind of considerations done in Texas, and apparently they're, they're saying there's not enough time uh, to get that done before the December 14th deadline to list this thing. So, um, they've got evidence that on, the oil gas companies can, co can coexist with the lizard uh, in New Mexico. We believe they can coexist in Texas as well. Yes. Um, they will always say the right things. Uh, we're just concerned that given the limited data, given the flaws in the, in the methodology they use to survey the, the uh, lizard, that they will come to the wrong conclusion uh, based on uh, improper science. And we're going to implore them to, to get the studies done that make sense, to use the methodologies that make sense, to try to count the lizard during the time during the year that he's most active, to use the methods, the, counts, the way to count lizards that are most effective and get the best science, data, scientific data available uh, to, uh, to make this decision. Thanks, Thank you very much. All right.